And immigration is one of the most important issues for voters in the upcoming presidential election. And San Antonio, Texas is at the forefront of the debate, often acting as a migration hub where authorities send people en route to their final destination. Joining us now for more on uh, that from the Bloomberg City Lab Summit in Mexico City is the mayor of San Antonio, Ron Nuremberg. Mr. Mayor, great to uh, have some time with you. I was looking at some charts uh, about the flow of migrants over the southwest border from the CBP. And indeed, we've seen um, a spike to the highest levels of immigration across uh, that area in American history, um, at least in, in the history of uh, uh, the United States of America. Um, how have you dealt with that in San Antonio? How have the people of San Antonio dealt with that influx of immigration? Sure. Well, good morning and thank you for having me. I think the first thing I would say is contextualize this. This is not unique to the U.S. southern border. This is happening all across the world. More displaced people in this period of time, 114 million people worldwide, more since World War II. So uh, what's happening at the southern border is not unique. What is unique, however, is the political and legislative paralysis within our, uh, within our political system in the United States. How we have handled that uh, at the local level, since we don't deal with uh, solutions to immigration policy, is that we've had cooperation from uh, the Biden and Harris administration to provide resources so that we can do two things. We can make sure that we continue to uphold our values as a nation, but we also deal with safety and uh, safety and resources in a way that allows people to move on to their next destination while protecting public safety. Uh, it has been a successful effort, and since that period of time when uh, President Biden issued his executive orders, we've seen about a 90 percent decrease in uh, traffic through our, our migrant resource center. So it works when Congress puts solutions together. If they yield to the politics of Donald Trump and we're left with no solutions, it's incumbent upon presidential leadership. And that's what, exactly what we've seen uh, with Bre President Biden. Mr. Mayor, I imagine you have to uphold the law. Um, do you then, when you find someone in this country illegally, uh, work with the government to send that person back to his or her home country? Or do you uh, move that person along in the system somehow? How do you sort of stop the breaking of the law in that situation? Uh, that's exactly right. We, we cooperate with local law enforcement, with federal authorities. Uh, and so folks who are in our city uh, have been vetted and have been uh, given asylum hearing dates, some cases years from now, which is part of the problem when we don't have legislative solutions that were clearly laid out in a bipartisan border bill that Trump unilaterally killed by calling his favorite senators. So uh, there are solutions to this at the local level, however, we work with federal authorities to make sure that we have the resources uh, to treat people with compassion, but also protect public safety and maintain public order. And I want to bring the labor market into this conversation. We know, of course, at a federal level that it's still very strong, but there was an interesting story from Texas Monthly recently, which actually found that Texas has 80 workers for every 100 open jobs, and that construction jobs in particular uh, have a high degree of job openings right now. And I'm curious, I mean, how, how has immigration impacted that? Have you been able to fill some of those job openings with migrants? Well, San Antonio is a uh, international city. We are a city uh, of uh, that has been multicultural and has uh, roughly a 15% foreign-born population. So, uh, you know, immigrants are part of our labor force, regardless of the career field, and in, in high-skilled positions and in all kinds of uh, markets. So, of course, uh, immigrants are part of our construction uh, workforce as well, same as uh, residents of San Antonio. And we know in this period of time when there's a amount of capital investment, a lot of construction going on. There is a need for construction workers. There is a need for manufacturing workers. And we put a lot of our own resources, including resources from Vice President Harris and President Biden, to help us continue to build the skills uh, in our workforce to make sure that we can fill those jobs. Well, I'm curious, I mean, how do you, sort of building on Matt, what Matt was asking about following the law here, how do you ensure that there's going to be fair wages, safe working conditions when workers are both documented and undocumented? 
Well, every single job is obviously regulated, uh, and unfortunately we can't change Texas law, uh, which uh, unfortunately hasn't changed with regard to minimum wage in 20-some-odd uh, years. But you know, we uh, make sure that we work with all industries to ensure that uh, folks are uh, you know, gainfully employed, but also that employers are treating their employees correctly, uh, and also uh, you know, they're, they're properly uh, working with all the laws and, uh, and and regulations in the area. I want to ask about um, housing prices. I was looking at the Freddie Mac house price index for San Antonio, and indeed you see a, a spike in home prices right as soon as you see a spike in immigration at the start of the Biden administration. The two seem uh, very correlated. H how are you doing at keeping housing affordable for your residents? Well, I, I'm not going to slip into that kind of co uh, correlation equals causation. The idea that migration has called the, caused the spike in housing prices is absolutely absurd. What we've seen is a tightening of the supply chains. We've seen a tightening of the la labor markets. This is worldwide phenomenon. Uh, but we also know that housing prices are going up because people are, are coming to our city from California, from Illinois, from Texas itself. We're a great city to live in. And that's made us very desirable. We've had a strategic housing implementation plan in place that we've been implementing to make sure that the housing market is uh, stable and it's healthy. Uh, of course, housing costs have gone up uh, roughly 25 percent over the last four or five years. Uh, but relative to some of our peer cities, uh, we're doing a good job in making sure that there's a, a healthy supply to the demand in housing. And that comes in all forms and, and, and types. We know we need uh, more rental housing for uh, young professionals and students, but we also need home ownership options for people who are moving into their professional prime careers and also uh, retiring in our city. But we have a good healthy housing market in San Antonio. Of course, we're in the midst of a housing crisis worldwide. We're doing what we can to make sure it continues to be sustainable and healthy. All right, Mr. Mayor, thanks very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Mayor of San Antonio, Ron Nuremberg there.